Okay, so we're going to be trying out LR Rose and his Easy A versus Sin, the other event that he's uh, not going to be potentially great in, thanks to the uh, AoEs. But mm, a pretty reasonable start here. Now he's on the first rotation, which is good, but unfortunately, with the with how powerful the Zamasu team is, I'm not sure if, in terms of getting the finishing blow, like the best sort of setup is for Rosé to be on the second turn because the like on the first turn we're going to do a decent amount of damage but Rosé probably isn't going to be able to kill him here and then that means we need to try and make sure that on this next turn we don't do too much damage because I mean look at Tech Zamasu he's able to do so much just by himself um, but yeah I don't know if Rosé I mean if we get like a triple super turn maybe he could just kill him but I mean, he does a lot of damage, so. But yeah, ideally we want him to be on the second turn, I think. Oh, he didn't get the triple super. Oh my god, look at his health. <laughs> Are you actually serious? Look at his health. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude has like one HP. <laughs> Bruh. Now, just imagine if Texamasu had got an additional super instead of an additional normal for that final attack. It would have been GG. Although here we should be good because we can get... I don't want to get too much key for Samasu. Do that. Do that. Do this. So, it's obviously, Tech Zamasu will do a lot of damage, but, like, Silas has type disadvantage and... Uh, Chilai just doesn't really do damage anyway, right? So, I mean, Tegzamasu on a good turn can, like, one turn um, sin. So, <laughs> we should be able to do enough damage here that Rosé will get the uh, be able to finish him off next time. Yeah, especially if you're doing this. Well, this creates a... Hmm. Now, next turn... I don't think Rosé will just kill by himself, but if I then put Texamasu in slot one, then we have the issue of Texamasu will potentially just kill him. <laughs> so this is the big problem with uh, Goku Black's finishing blow thing. Like, he does a lot of damage now, but, like, Zamasu does insane amounts of damage, um, especially in this phase where he has type advantage. Um, and because they link very well together, we don't really have the opportunity to, like, just not super with Zamasu, right? I mean, I can get the minimum key, but there is the possibility that he just kills him. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> also, yeah, he's been hit a few times first, so... Okay, yeah, he's rocking a big old attack stat now. But yeah, Goku Black, unfortunately, because we could put Rosé in slot one, but he just probably doesn't kill. Don't additional super again? No! Why? Why do we always get the good RNG on the turns where we don't want it? And then when I'm doing, like, the heroes runs, nobody dodges. <laughs> like, bruh. Well, this is the, uh, where's the DJ Khaled meme of suffering from success? Like, we got through the first couple of turns way too quick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, I mean, this is not a terrible, this is a pretty good turn, but... It's just not super ideal. Also, this isn't great. So obviously Zamasu, as you go through, loses some of his defensive ability. So eating a super in slot one. I mean, 290k is not bad with the amount of team, uh, the amount of healing the team has. Uh, I can't believe that first phase, though. He survived with, like, no health, basically. That would have been so good for getting the uh, finishing blow. Although, remember, again, going back to, like, the Goku Black thing, his finishing blow gives him 6 key, and then the 50% chance to crit is really good. But he's still really good without it, right? Like, we haven't missed his 18 key super on any of these turns. Um, the only downside is obviously him having a low chance to crit, because I, I didn't give mine much crit in the hidden potential system. Um, because once you get the finishing blow, he then has a 50% chance to crit, 
So it kind of makes having a whole bunch of crit in his hidden potential kind of pointless, right? If he's then having 50% chance once you do get the finishing blow part unlocked. The only problem is you actually have to get that unlocked, right? So... Right, so he's got one last AoE. Oof. Right, it's a shame it's not going to be turn six. I was going to say, this would have been the perfect opportunity to get the uh, rage mode. But... Yeah, see, I think we... Do we just die now? Because we're going to do this, right? And that gives Rosé... All of the AoEs are in slot one. So, and then the super's in slot one, so we couldn't even put Rosé there to, like, mitigate so that him getting, like, his defense before the AoE comes out. But... Because, yeah, basically, if we don't use an item here, we're just dead. Because three AoEs in slot one, with Goku Black being a physical unit as well, that means he's going to be taking, like, 300k from these AoEs. So... Now, obviously, uh... You know, Zamasu's not going to take any damage, but... Let me see how much... How much does he take with one Whis active? Let's see. Oh, well, zero. Okay. Of course. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, that's what you ideally want to happen in these situations, but... Yeah, still 93k, um, which means I guess he does live this one, but only just. Oh, I mean, two out of three dodges. I'll take that. <laughs> I mean, the fact that we have the um, the fact that we have the Whis active is the only reason we didn't die, though, right? Because without the uh, item active, one AOE would have been enough, I think. But there you go. You get the double super. Now, the only downside, of course, by not having the finishing blow very unlikely to crit on these attacks and then we take double digits from the normals so i mean he takes double digits from the normals without the item but <laughs> yeah higher chance to dodge than rosel they that dude has 14 dodge in the hidden potential and he dodged two out of the three aoe's yet when we do the heroes versus sin runs characters that have like 50 percent chance to dodge in their passive and then like level 27 dodge in the hidden potential are just not dodging attacks it's like bruh why are you like this? <laughs> I mean, this is going to be an insane turn because we still have the Whis active. So, like, no one no one on this turn can take damage, basically. <laughs> like, Fusion Zamasu in slot 1 has 90% damage reduction. Then Zamasu in slot 2 has 80% damage reduction and is attacking first. And then the Int Zamasu in slot 3, we have a full Realm of Gods rotation. So he has 100% damage reduction. <laughs> <laughs> My team just tuned me. Wait, no, the team didn't fail. What are you talking about? Toon Rummy is a lot of things, and Scott only knows for sure about his identity. Yeah, his identity is shrouded in secrecy. But yeah, I don't like this. Uh, I don't like Toon's uh, this whole thing about apparently every single thing that is purple is somehow belongs to Toon. Like, calling the link level keys Toon keys. That's why I made that post joking that we have to call the carnival coins uh, Ningen coins. Because the uh, that's like my colour scheme, right? That teal green colour. <laughs> Toon Rami is purple Jacko. He's <laughs> supporting the homie. Or the Ningen doesn't want to admit that his team just tuned him. How's that? What? Uh, right. Well, we're in that exact same situation again. I'm kind of interested to see. I mean, we probably just die here, but... Yeah, how much does an AoE do to him? Like, 300k, probably? What happens if we do this? Because he takes the AoE, which he's going to take anyway. Um, but then, he gets all of his attacks off. 
So then his defense, like, shoots up. What would he take, like, in this scenario? Is I'm quite interested to see. Now, obviously, one of the downsides could be that he super attacks um, Int Rosé. But let's see. So what is he taking from the AoE? Yeah, 363k. That is a lot. But now he gets to attack. And then his defense is obviously going to shoot up. Especially because we are going to get a guaranteed two supers. Um, there's the crit as well. Hey, that's off of the level three crit in his hidden potential. <laughs> Triple. Yes, let's go. So now he has like well over a million defense here. Just don't get immediately supered. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, 376k from a physical boss is uh, not the worst in the world. But like, I would have at least liked it to have been in the video that he tanks a normal attack for double digit damage with no item active. But apparently we don't get to, uh, we don't get to live that experience. So... <laughs> I morbed myself. Yeah, I had to say it, didn't I? I had to speak it into existence, but let's run it back. All right, so we're on a good turn here. Um, we got, yeah, Texamasu probably just goes ham and kills Sin, but we did get the finishing blow in the first phase. So if we maybe we'll get a chance to see. No, we won't. We won't get a chance to see Rosé attack. Now, the strategy that we went for this time, which I think is probably your best bet for this event, for Sin specifically, because Sin has infinite attempts, right? Unlike the red zone. And same with Omega, if you're trying to use him against Omega on JP. Is I purposely restarted the event until he was in he was on turn two. Because that gives him the highest chance to get the finishing blow, right? Because Zamasu can do a bunch of damage on the first turn. Then the Zamasu in slot one can do some extra damage on the second turn. And then Rose gets the kill. And then ideally what we're going for here is um, losing enough HP on this turn. That because Rosé was on turn two, that means his turn cycle is turn two, turn four, and then turn six. So if we've dropped below 66% HP, then we come back in on turn six and he can use his rage mode, which is what we're angling for here. Um, so these guys, now obviously this is all going to be completely reliant on Chi Lai dodging, right? If Chi Lai doesn't dodge here, then it's just GG, but... Silas only has to take one AoE before the he gets his attack off. Once he gets his attack off, because he has Big Bad Bosses active, he should be fine. Um, but yeah, Chilai definitely could sell this whole thing out. Plus, the only problem, of course, is if the turn goes too well, we won't lose enough HP to get the Rage Mode. Because yeah, Silas taking 75k from a an AoE is not really that bad at all. In fact, can we even get the Rage Mode here? Because Chilai needs to dodge the super or she just dies. I guess if she takes the other attack, which is a normal, and doesn't dodge, or one of the AoEs. I don't think it one-shots her. Um, but again, this is something we talked about as soon as we saw like the details for Rosé's Easy A. It's because this team has so much healing, even if you do get to turn 6 and you've got the right setup, like, that doesn't mean you are going to get the Rage Mode, right? Because you also need to lose that HP. And like I said, if she doesn't dodge the Super, she just dies. Whereas if she doesn't dodge the Normal, we might survive. But... It all depends. So she dodged that. Don't dodge this. Ah, well, there you go. See, and now here we are on turn 6. But we can't use the Rage Mode. However, we did get very lucky here. We do have... No attack in slot one, so I can do this. Now, <laughs> the only problem is <laughs> we do have... <laughs> I'm not even going to... No, I'm not going to say it because I said it in the last clip and we all, and we all know what happened. So I'm just not... I'm not going to say anything. But you all know what I'm thinking, but I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> no one in the chat say it. No, Proton. <laughs> no, don't say it. Don't say it, don't think it. Was that horror that bad? There's some thing from a terrible horror movie that I can't remember what it is. But... Triple? Ah, uh, he didn't triple. So he takes double digits from the normals. So yeah, I mean, there you go. As we've seen in other circumstances, as long as Rosé gets his super attacks first, he tanks well against all these bosses, including type disadvantage. And there you go, he didn't get supered. So... Now we should be all good, right? Because even if he supers Texamasu here, 
Takes a Masu gets his supers off first. So he should be good. Yeah, Proton says, there you go, I didn't do anything wrong. Apparently it only happens if I jinx it. Like last time. That's why I didn't say, let's hope he doesn't get supered in slot one. And then he didn't get supered in slot one. So there you go. I, uh, I didn't jinx it this time. <laughs> But there you go, that's a much better performance from Rosé. Now obviously it's very, it's quite rare that you get onto a physical sin turn where there's no attacks in slot one, because even just one normal attack in slot one makes it then very difficult to actually get away with putting Rosé there. Um, oh, into Marcy with the super dodge, let's go. All right, well, I mean, that's gonna draw the run to a close here, right? Because there's basically, like, he can't do anything now. I say that, he could super me in slot one again this time. Although, he supered at the end of the last turn, right? So I don't think he can super in slot one here. I can't remember what his cooldown is for supering, but that should basically just be GG. Um, but yeah, like, that's what I mean. I mean. Yeah, we've seen it before, right? So that's just, you know, getting it on video here for everyone to see. Like, as long as he supers first, he is tanking all of these bosses, like, normal attacks, even physical, right? Like, he tanks well against Fusion Zamasu, as long as he super attacks first, like the physical one, right? Second phase. Um, the biggest concern is obviously AoE attacks, and then, of course, if he eats a super. Like, he can tank supers from some of the big bosses as well, especially on the turns where he gets a triple super. It's just obviously much harder for him to do that when the boss is physical. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really like this in Rosé Easy A. At the end of the day, this is why I said to somebody on Twitter, like, people are so hyperbolic sometimes. I saw somebody calling him unrunnable because he takes so much damage from AoEs. But it's like, I either use an item on the AoE turn, because why not? I know there's this obsession nowadays with no items being the only thing that matters. But like, just use an item when there's an AoE, if he's on rotation, or just don't run him in a stage where there's AoEs. That doesn't make him not good, right? Um, like if you think about people saying, oh, like a lot of people complaining about AoEs, a lot of people complaining about Zamasu, I see a bunch of people also saying things like, oh, you know, we shouldn't use these AoEs to rate units going forward and stuff like that. And the big response that I see to that is obviously like events are only going to get harder. So if we get the next big celebration that introduces a new red zone and the new final boss that becomes the new hardest event in the game has an AoE then it's going to be even harder than Fusion Zamasu. So it is something worth considering. But you also have to remember that there are a lot of events in the game. Like, we won't include the future Android stage because that stage was so easy, it was basically a joke. But even if we say that you can't run this Rosé against Fusion Zamasu, if you're just, you know, like, obsessed with no items and stuff, if we say that you can't use this Rosé against Fusion Zamasu because he gets destroyed by the AoEs, he's still good in four out of the five new red zone stages so i mean that's pretty good right because in all of the other stages there's no aoes so he's always going to be in that spot where he gets to attack first um and then he's able to tank supers as long as he gets his supers off well, i say tank supers but he's able to survive supers i mean the stage four the second phase boss is tech so once he's gotten his supers off he's going to eat those like quite nicely um so yeah, I mean, there you go. We got the no item run versus Sin with Rosé on the team. We obviously did get quite lucky with the AoE placements, but yeah, I think Rosé is super, super good. If you always want to be doing your runs with no items, then I guess, you know, just don't bring him into AoE phases or give him a full dodge build. I don't know, but I think he's really good. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.